Welcome everybody this morning. I missed uh, yesterday because I was down at the Icebreaker Odin to mobilize for our expedition and I realized I missed some really interesting talks. My name is Martin Jacobsen. I'm from Stockholm University and also the first vice president of the Royal Academy, which means that I'm the chair of the environmental and now also called environmental and energy committee. So I will start with giving a little bit of an introduction to the energy and or the <laughs> environmental and energy committee. We just changed names, so it's a bit difficult to remember what we are even called. Um, the reason why I do that is because we have helped to organize this and we organize this kind of event. We are very concerned about the environment and uh, yeah, so this is one of the things we do is to try to organize events on the hot topics, if you say. So I'm the chair of the Environmental and Energy Committee and the vice chair is actually Leif Andersson sitting there. And then we have the secretary, which is Elin Melkvist. I can't see where Elin is sitting. He's up there. And uh, then we have several committee members which I get to. So our committee, we constitute the Academy's information node and expert node on, on any questions related to the environment, climate and energy. So the reason why we have broadened it to energy is because we have realized that climate and uh, environment and energy are sometimes very hard to separate. Uh, we talk about uh, how we have to mitigate for climate change, etc. It's very hard to remove the energy question. So we have broadened the committee just recently. This is absolutely new. So we initiate and coordinate and prepare Academy's activities in, on these topics. And typical one thing is this kind of events. And we have a mandate, or I think our role is to communicate up-to-date, um, I would say, facts on the environmental, climate, and energy fields. So we are trying to do science for policy and uh, try to be up-to-date on that and keeping ourselves up-to-date. The committee consists of 10 members from the academy classes, as well as co-opted members from institutes and organizations related to the academy with the within the field of environment, climate and energy. So you can see them here. It's the Bayer Institute, it's Future Earth, it's SITE, which is relatively new, which also deals with health, global health. And then we also have a co-opted member from AMBIO, which is the Royal Academy peer review journal. So, um, so here are some examples, Let's see if I can point here, some examples on, on what we have done. We had a couple of years ago, the ocean in a two plus two degree world, an analytical perspective. Setup was very similar to this one, where we brought together what we think are leading scientists in the field to give presentations, and then we have time for questions, etc. and then we bring also in uh, some journalists and stream the uh, all the presentations so we can get out with the latest in the field. Then we moved on to do the expansion of low oxygen zones in the global ocean and coastal waters and now we are here with this event. We also point uh, or give recommendations on, for experts to the ESAC report. ESAC reports are also reports uh, done by the European Academy of Science Academic Council which is um, a group of experts that do reports on topics and combine, compile those reports. And the idea here again is, is science for policy. So here you can see some examples of these reports. And they're very, if you want to know something about the field within environment, there are many reports on different topics. For example, some of them you can see here, but and they've also been going out to media. So I think uh, this is a good good way of looking if you want to get into a new topic. Uh, I think we also will work more on the global, uh, on the United Nations Global SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, I think today we are definitely related to goal 14 here, use the ocean sustainable. And uh, we're talking about how to, to work with these SDGs within the academy. And I think uh, one of the simple way of doing that is simply to highlight that they exist at events like this and try to lift up that they are important. I mean, they pretty much cover the whole aspect of, of the scientific field here. So you can pick and choose and you will find one of the goals that are in your area. 
So next in line in 2020, we have uh, work. We are working on a new event called the. This is a working title. We don't have the exact title yet, but the demographic aspects of climate change, which will try to broaden us a little bit to go in also to the social fields and look at the, how human have to adapt for climate change and see how humans have already started to move ar around the world, etc. So this is, uh, I would say, much more broader than us nat natural scientists that normally put up facts and chemical formulas, etc. And that's what I look very much forward to. So I think uh, it's my pleasure today to, to um, do the moderation. And uh, we have the agenda here, and I have an understood that there is no, no one missing from the agenda. So um, we're a little bit ahead of time, but I think uh, we can get going, if that's okay.